Good evening, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Just give me emoji if you guys can hear me. Just flash any emoji. That's right, that's right, that's right. Marcus, I see you. Sir Seeker, I see you. All right, all right, Bernard. My man, Prince is on. All right, Nyako, I see you. Love you guys, love you guys. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Or maybe we should wait for the late comments, maybe two more minutes, and then we could keep going here. I don't know if you guys could, could, could hear my, my music, but I had some, you know, inspirational songs to play. I, I typically always do this um, before the start of any show, before going to work early morning when I wake up. Uh, I've already told you guys that, you know, faith is very, very important. Um, it's the foundation for all success. If you want to be successful, you have to believe in something. Um, it doesn't matter what you believe in. I have said this time and time again. Um, you don't have to believe in a church. You don't have to believe in a mosque. You don't have to believe in who I believe in Jesus. You don't have to believe in Muhammad. You don't have to believe in what somebody believe in. But you should have some sort of belief. Um, for me personally, I believe in God. I believe in the church. I believe in Jesus. And that has been my life, and that will be it till I leave this uh, earth. Um, that said, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot succeed without faith. Um, it's the foundation for all success. Then from faith is purpose. Why are you doing what you're doing? If you don't have a reason for doing what you're doing, you're not going to be successful. All right, let's give one more minute uh, for others to join. Um, and then we can kick going here. I guess you guys already know this. Um, we Today's team, uh, basically, um, how do you gain scholarship in the United States? Um, last couple of weeks, um, I had, I had uh, told you who I was, uh, who I am, why I'm doing this, um, and the fact that, you know, what brings me joy and satisfaction is my desire to help others. Keep in mind, I'm not the only one helping here. I have a lot of good friends, some of whom are on here today. Uh, last week, you we spoke to, uh, I think, Prince um, addressed you guys today. I have Nana on the line as well, uh, who in the end would have a word or two for you guys as well. All these guys have been helping me in helping you. So um, I'm trying to grow the family, trying to bring in most of my friends who I believe are well of, who all came here one way or the other with a scholarship or some sort of educational concept in mind. Um, whilst today's theme is basically about how to gain scholarship in the United States, we'll be touching on almost everything, every fabric of life, which I believe even if it's not for you per se, uh, most, most of you would have friends who will be interested. As far as GYEU is concerned, um, we are helping everybody. Doesn't matter if you want to go to school or even in college, as you, most of you are well aware, we've helped most of you guys pay for college tuition, um, you know, help you with assistance, um, rent, uh, housing, um, food. I mean, we do that basically, I mean, almost every other uh, week with giveaways to um, help almost each and every one of you who are uh, lucky enough to be drawn, those who are also actively um, engaged on our page and also help the family to grow. That's basically all that we seek um, in return. All right, um, I think it's past four minutes, so I'm just gonna jump into this uh, real quick here. Um, I think, uh, well, before we move on, I think um, all of us should try and share the space that way. If we have any friends who are curious and they wanna uh, at least um, hear this seminar as well, um, they could also join us. So let's just, uh, share the space i mean you could just easily click on the share button and i uh, think uh once you push share i think that should work uh and then we could blast it out there and get everybody on board um and then we could get going here um also if you could see um on the uh space i think i have two um i believe uh, messages or whatever it's called um, I think one of them is our YouTube page. 
I will strongly urge you to follow the page. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are on here too and you are not following us, um, I will strongly urge you to follow us because we do have important messages. We share motivational messages each and every morning to get your day going. Uh, the, 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 the ways of life are tough. Uh, so we all need some sort of encouragement. Sometimes you just need to hear that word. It's not because you don't know it. You already know it, but you just need to hear it from somebody. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're not following us, do great to follow us, GIU, follow myself, follow Prez, follow Nana, all these guys. And uh, honestly, um, most of the guys on here too, uh, Kali J, uh, his name is Henry. I don't know why he wants to be Kali J. Bernard, says Seeker, Marcus, um, Presla, um, Yanko, I believe. Um, all these guys have been very instrumental. Rudy, uh, I mean, I, I can't mention all names, but you know you know yourself. You guys have been amazing. Each morning, uh, I think around 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Ghana time when I'm up and I tweet, all these guys have our notifications on and they spread the message and that is so beautiful. That is so lovely. That is so touching. Uh, and today we're going to reward some of you. You may be shocked. It wouldn't even be any of the guys that I mentioned their names because I know they, <laughs> they've already been rewarded. But anyways, we're going to jump into it straight. If you've shared the page, um, if um, you've subscribed to our YouTube page, we love that. If you're not following us and you just want to, you know, listen and you don't find this thing interesting, that's okay as well. You don't have to follow us anyways. We have a big enough family, but we welcome everybody. All right. So why are we here today? For me personally, um, I also believe this with, with all my heart, that the United States is the greatest nation on earth. You may disagree, that is okay, that's your opinion. And I said this last week, this is the only country on earth that you don't have to dream. Just go to bed and dream and wake up and go like, oh no, um, it's not gonna work. You will live your dream. All you have to do is to follow some basic principles in this country and you will be successful. You don't even need to go to school in this country and you'll be successful. You can work at McDonald's, you can work at Starbucks, you can work on the roadside for construction. You can do whatever you want to do and be successful. If you want to go to school, it's the easiest way out. Um, myself, friends, Nana, all of us are educated folks. So, uh, but that's not to say that if most of our friends are not even, are not even in, in our path, they don't do what we do but they are still successful in this country. Um, I came to this country with a scholarship. Um, I didn't know anybody here. Uh, my, my parents, um, I'm, not, I'm not from a, a rich home. Everything that I am today, uh, it's all self-made. Uh, but by the grace of God, I'm here today. I want to share my knowledge, what I've learned. I want to make things easy for you. Some of you may not even have friends in the United States, but you may have a uh, Twitter account where you follow people on um, Twitter. My only question or my only um, take is anybody that you follow and the question that you ask yourself, what's in for me? What do you stand to gain? Uh, if you're not gaining anything, uh, I think you should reassess. But man, it's, it's up to you. If you want to follow people for fun, that's, that's great. If you want to follow people for wisdom, uh, you're welcome to the GIU family and we, we would embrace you with love and grace, you know. Um, I'm very happy all of you are here today. I, I don't even know who is all here. I can only see my screen. So if, if I'm not, uh, if I, for whatever reason, I'm unable to recognize you, if you've been an active member of the family, just uh, my apology. You could just uh, maybe shoot me a message and I should be able to see that as well. All right. So scholarship. Um, most Ghanaians, um, myself included, when I was back home about 15 years ago, uh, we, we all want to go to school, or one way or the other. Um, we've all been to uh, senior high school, uh, which is great. Uh, but then um, your dreams are cut short, myself included. After I had had really good grades, I was not given the opportunity to go to any of the major colleges in Ghana, Lagon, Tech, UCC. I tried all my possible best. I was never uh, given the admission, although I had 12, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, I think I had all Bs and one D. Uh, I think that's pretty good enough, right? From 
a kid from a really humble background. I didn't have anybody to take me to preparatory school. I was just studying like crazy. But uh, at the end of the day, I couldn't get into uh, the universities. I wanted to do become at UCC. I wanted to do business at me at Lagon. Nobody uh, actually cared for my application. I don't even know if they even opened it, but I, 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 I couldn't go anywhere. So I was a bit uh, sad, disappointed. And um, whilst I was just sitting in my room, pissed off about life, uh, my dad came in and said, hey, you know what? I have a friend at uh, Coforidia Polytechnic and I can talk to him. And I'm sitting out there like, why do I have to go to Polytechnic? I mean, come on. But he did that, and here I am today. Well, the reason why I'm telling you this story is, had I not gone to Polytechnic, I'd gone to any of the universities, I wouldn't be here today because I would have had my bachelor's degree and I could have cared less about what goes on in the other side of the world. But because I didn't have my bachelor's degree, I was still focused on uh, obtaining that. But this time I had changed strategy. Ghana is not helping me. Uh, I've tried all my possible best. I'm not getting admission to any of the colleges that I want to go to. So I'm going to try outside which United States was not even on the list. I was thinking of the UK, uh, but God being so good, I found a way and here I am today. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tell you all that you need to know. I'm gonna answer questions. I believe a uh, prison officer uh, had reached out to me during the week. My apologies if I'm not getting it correct, but yeah, he reached out to me during the week and he had some questions and I told him this seminar would be a great opportunity for him to ask his questions. A lot of you have sent your questions to me. Uh, maybe today I'm not, not going to be able to read them, but I will respond to you appropriately uh, via DM, as I always do, all right? Okay, so in order for you to obtain a scholarship in the United States, there are basically what I call three means of obtaining a scholarship in the United States. The one that we, we, we talked about these last week, but I'm going to go into details with you today. So please listen. I have created some PowerPoint slides, which I follow to speak to you. Um, after the discussion, if you want to get a copy, I could easily just uh, um, email that to you. Um, going forward, I intend to create a newsletter where I would, after each and every seminar, I will provide to you my PowerPoint slides because it, it might be helpful to somebody out there, right? So you have access to all these documents. Um, I, I don't create these things for me. I don't need them. My goal is to help you, all right? So the established institutions would be the first. Um, that is mostly sponsored by the U.S. government. So the American government is a very, very smart government. By that, I don't mean the American people. I mean the American government. Because sometimes they recognize that, okay, we lack doctors. Sometimes they recognize we lack teachers, we lack engineers, we lack this. So then they open up their country to scholarship for all the smart brains from each and every part of the world to come here. Those scholarships are mostly 100%. Um, in order for you to gain these type of scholarship, one of them is called the Fulbright Scholarship. It is sponsored by the U.S. government. I tell you what, if you gain this scholarship, there is no way, no way that uh, a consulate, those guys that sit over there and say, deny, approve, come to America or don't come here, are going to deny you. They cannot because it's backed by the United States government, uh, Department of State, which is one of the most powerful states uh, or institutions in the world. Um, the application process, it's a bit... Um, convoluted by that it's not like you go to Fulbright and apply. No, you would go through the consulate of the home country. Not all the home countries are qualified. So you may be in, say, Pakistan. Probably you're not qualified because America is not in friendly terms with them. Uh, but those of us in Ghana and I believe Nigeria and mostly African nations uh, are all eligible to apply. So for example, let's take Ghana. If you are in Ghana, how do you assess or how do you apply for the Fulbright Scholarship? You would have to go through the consulate, which is the embassy of Ghana, uh, the embassy of the United States, which is in uh, somewhere in Accra, I don't know. Um, so you go there, you go to the website, and then you click on that. Um, the only caveat is... Um, the only caveat, are, are you guys able to hear me well? I think Sandy just said she's having 
issues or something. Give me emojis if you guys can hear me very well, because that's the only means I can interact with y'all. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. That's solid. That's solid, guys. Yeah, keep flashing those emojis because that means you are listening. Because I have no means of knowing what's going on. So, okay, okay, all right. So I will continue with the full bright scholarship. There is a caveat. It only again the United States government is extremely smart. The only people that they allow them to apply for these type of scholarship is. People in academic and professional development, that is people who are already teaching in the universities and colleges in Ghana, okay? Unfortunately, I believe that most of us on here today do not fall in that category. As such, I'm not going to waste much time on it, but it is one of the most proven, solid, easiest to obtain scholarship to come here. So if you are a college professor and you think, or a lecturer at, say, uh, Polytechnic somewhere, and you feel that Ghana is not the place for you, uh, I think you should consider this, and you'll be well off, okay? Now, the next scholarship that I would like to discuss today in detail, which you would be the direct means. By direct means, what do I mean? you go directly to the school or you go to some fellowship program where they will award you the scholarship, okay? So, for example, one of the uh, universities that award full-time scholarship to people uh, coming in from Africa and almost every part of the world is the University of Minnesota, okay? The University of Minnesota, um, I believe that's where um, what's his name? Uh, the former UN Secretary General, uh, Kofi Annan. Yeah, that's, that's where he actually um, went to college. Um, I lived in Minneapolis in the state of Minnesota, so I know this school. It is one of the best institutions in the world. It is easy to obtain this. By easy, I don't mean that you go out there and click on scholarship and you get it. No, there is a caveat. So, I will walk you through what you need to do, okay? This scholarship is actually for those who are uh, willing or those who want to pursue their master's program in the United States, all right? So those of you who already have a bachelor's degree, which I believe most of us do, um, if you want to do your master's program, then where you would want to look at would be, say, United States. And then United States, which institution do I go to? University of Minnesota is one of the best universities that I can tell you we have in the Midwest. I live in the Midwest for a while, so I actually know the Midwest quite well. So if you want to apply, there is a link that you would have to follow. It's for master's program. It's an opportunity to study in the United States. Um, the the areas where they offer these scholarships are numerous. Like, it's, it's a lot. It's not just uh, restricted to, say, um, languages or something, ICT, medical field. Like, it's, it's a huge opportunity, okay? Um, the deadlines, uh, because the program is for master's program, um, it's, the scholarship would be for two years, so you get the, the, the visa and everything, and they award you the scholarship, and you're covered for the next two years, okay? The deadline, is, is the deadline to apply for this uh, scholarship is January each year, the 15th. So if you are thinking of, I believe, going for the fall, uh, I think it's already gone. If it's not the fall, I, I still don't know the, uh, those fall and winter and all that, is whatever spring break they call them. I, I'm still not used to it, even though I've been here for a while. But January 15th is the deadline to apply. And it's not that. It's not just January 15th. You could also apply um, the deadline for, I believe, the winter uh, would be December 15th. December 15th. So if you're listening to me today and you, you have a plan to travel out of Ghana and come to university for your master's program here in the United States, you have time. You have a lot of time to prepare and prepare very, very well.
to obtain this easy to get scholarship, okay? Um, this scholarship would cover, listen to this, listen to this, your tuition. So everything that you have to pay to learn, it's going to cover that. Living expenses, think about it. You, you, living expenses, oh, you, you're going to cover all your housing and everything. Um, travel and health insurance. In America, maybe most of you do not know, but in America, one of the most expensive items here is healthcare. Healthcare is extremely expensive such that when you come to America and you get sick, you ask yourself, why didn't I stay in Ghana? <laughs> because it's free over there. Here, it's a pain in the backside and it's expensive like crazy, okay? So if you're going to be covered for travel, which appears to be, it would cover your plane ticket and health insurance. It means whilst you are here for the next two years, somebody is paying for your health coverage. I wish somebody is paying for my health coverage. I would have saved a lot of money to give to people out there that I need. OK, it's expensive and it's no joke. Those of us who live here will tell you that. OK, the requirement, the eligibility, the requirement, of course, you have to speak English. It's, it's open to everybody around the world. You have to hold a bachelor's degree or equivalent, okay? Um, you must satisfy the requirement. Of course, there would be some mumbo jumbos of, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that. But it's basically easy stuff. One of the most kind of difficult concepts in application for these types of scholarship would be the English language proficiency requirement. I believe some of you that I have DM'd, we've been going back and forth on what you got to do, the English language proficiency. Well, for University of Minnesota, they require that you have a valid TOEFL or you, you, know, you, you, you have to show, you have to meet some score requirement. The minimum score requirement is 600. So if, you, if you're listening to me today and you have already taken TOEFL or, you know, and you have that 600 score, you are in the goal, okay? You must also have a valid uh, graduate record uh, exam, which is the GRE score. It's required. I had to do it for GRE. Well, actually, mine, they waived it um, when I was doing my master's program because of work experience. With my work experience, I've been, you know, been out there doing accounting and finance for God knows how long, over the last 10 years. So I didn't have to do that. Otherwise, even those of us who are here, uh, you still have to take it. You must also have a letter from your employer. Assuming you work with Bank of Ghana and you want to study, they need some letter to prove that, yeah, you, you're going back. Also, if you, if you don't work, which most of us don't, um, you need some you know, bank statement to show that you have pretty much nothing in your bank account. And you also need two letters of recommendation. And I'll tell you guys this. Those of you who are serious about it and, uh, you know, valid somebody like Carly J. Henry, I mean, uh, Bernard, all these guys, if you need help drafting these letters, if you need recommendations, you don't even need to go to your college for them. Find somebody who can write a solid letter for you. I know that, um, for example, one of our members was trying to get employment and they had to go to their school for attestation. You had to pay for that. I mean, what does that even mean? What kind of nonsense is that? You have to pay to the college that you went to for a professor to say that this person is a good student. Give him an opportunity. You, you have to pay. Pay to who? These colleges are not even worth anything. But anyways, that's a topic for another day. You also have to have an updated resume. By resume, I think in Ghana it's referred to as CV, okay? Uh, and you have to show your transcript uh, to prove that, yeah, I have good grades. Some of you that I've been talking to, I have been urging you guys to up your grades. Don't, don't listen, you only have four years to study. Why don't you just focus on it, go for it, get all the good grades that you need, after which, if you want to dance around or play or, you know, mess around, you can do that. So focus on your studies, get good grades, and you are in the go. And then, of course, you have to show a picture of your face to prove that it's, it, it's you or some real person applying. And that is just for, you know, university of uh, Minnesota. Um, there is one other fellowship. Excuse me, guys. Um, one other fellowship called AA. UW, International Fellowship Program. This one is actually just for women. 
Can you believe that? So if you are a lady and you're listening, Prisla, uh, I believe I talk to you quite a bit. Uh, so your name is just in my head. Uh, I believe Sandy too. But if, if, if you are uh, a lady and you are listening today, that scholarship is just for you ladies. And it will surprise you. The fellowship for these women programs, the dollar amount is $20,000 to $50,000 per academic year. It's not, it's not a baby dollar. That is big, big, big. Because um, the average household income in Las Vegas, United States, is $36,000. So somebody is going to give you free $20,000 to go to school so your life will be better. I will take that, okay? I don't know about you, but I would take that. So the ladies who are interested, this would even be a better opportunity for you. Why am I saying that? The competition would be small. It's just a group of women telling somebody why they deserve a scholarship, why they should give them $50,000, why they should change their life from where they are today to the greatest they can ever be, all right? I can read and help you draft all these, you know? Anybody listening, if you are, so long as you are interested and you would want to partake in these scholarships, I have all ears for you. I am only for serious people. I don't deal with lazy um, attitude or when I ask you a task and then you don't do it. I, I believe you can ask Henry. I always have tax. I, I believe most of you that I've talked to have given you tax to see how they do it, how they come up with. Um, I think um, I, I, a lot of you uh, that I, I think a rabbit to, I gave a task, which uh, I was quite impressed uh, with, with the way she addressed it. So, you know, I, I am all for serious people. I'm not for people who are DMing me, asking about $20, and, oh, excuse me, 20 Ghana or 30 Ghana or 10 Ghana for bread. You don't need me to, you know, you don't need, need me to make bread for you. I'm going to show you how to make bread. That way you can make bread for the rest of your life. And, you know, you, if, if, I don't care if you give me credit for it. I just want you to be better. But in order for you to be better, you have to change your mind and attitude. You know, because as we always say, if you will change, everything will change. Your friends will change. Those of you who have followed us, you found in me somebody who is shaping you to the promised land. Some of you now have connection to my friend Joe, who works at Facebook. Some of you now have connection to my friend Prince, who works at the State Department of United States, one of the highest, highest officers, my friend Nana, who is a registered nurse, I was going through some health issues the last couple of years and I was struggling. I went to hospital and all these people couldn't even help me with anything. I called my own brother. Like, I've known Nana since God knows how long. He told me, do this, do this, do this, do this. It didn't even last like, I think I believe maybe 30 days to, uh, what, what do you call it, 90 days and I was already feeling better. He didn't tell me to do anything from the ordinary, just live a healthy life. That's all. And I was able to, you know, switch from where I was to where I wanted to be. So it's all about change. If you will change, everything around you will change. Your friends, your bank balance, your education, your status in society, your status in family. And some people will go out there and tell you a bunch of noise that money isn't everything. Well, we all know that. But if money is not everything, what else is everything? Not having money? <laughs> well, you don't want that, people. Okay? So for the ladies, those of you who are interested in pursuing your master's program, the, I believe uh, it's called, uh, I think, oops, where is it? AAUW, International Fellowship Scholarship. And this is strictly for women. Okay? So Kali J and Bernard and Nyako, Jackson, if you guys are thinking of applying, forget about it. It's not for you guys. This is for the ladies. Okay? All right. Uh, let's move on here. One other university that also gives one of the most uh, uh, freebies, which uh, an opportunity to come study in the United States. Um, let me pull it up here real quick. But I believe that is Clark University Scholarship. This one is also fully funded. Uh, by fully funded, what does that mean? It means it covers all your tuition and, um, you know, I, I believe... Uh, living expenses as well, okay? So uh, Clark University for 2023 to 2024 are fully funded undergrad. Ooh, this one is even better, undergrad. So if you have an SSC with good grades, okay, 
and you are even in, in university and you're like, well, I don't want to be here. I mean, after, after graduation from University of Ghana, what am I going to be doing in Ghana? You have no clue. The government of Ghana doesn't even know what you'll be doing because they've frozen um, employment for God knows how long. God, right? It's not like they were going to hire anybody anyways. You know, you have to know somebody to know somebody to get to somewhere. Um, so if you are in university and you have good grades and you're like, okay, guys, I, I, I'm going to get out of this place. University, Clark University Scholarship, it's fully funded. You, it covers about 15 to 20,000 per year for four years four good years, you're going to get this free dollars. And I tell you what, if you change, everything around you will change. America is the greatest nation on earth. If somebody tells you otherwise, they don't know what they're talking about, take it from me. I'm a chartered accountant. I'm a certified information security risk professional. And I'm telling you this, it's the greatest nation on earth. And if you have those people who come from this country or from Europe and then they come home and then they start telling you life is tough, life is tough, yeah, man, you won't survive it. Uh, you know, I have never seen anybody who doesn't like or hate something but enjoys going back to doing the same thing. You got to be a sick person. If you think um, being outside the country is hell, well, then you might as well stay in heaven, which is Ghana. I don't think so. They will return once they come back home they return back as quickly as possible. We all do that because we know it's not a place for prosperity, unfortunately. All right? So let me tell you, this one, Clark University, would offer scholarship undergrad for fifteen to 25000 U.S. dollars. Free. They do this to get the smartest amongst us to come to the United States to excel. It's a four-year program. You know, there is a, some, some type of con contingency on this one. The contingency is that you have to be academically strong. By that, the exams and the classes that you take, you should meet certain grades. I had to do that with my scholarship. It's easy. All you got to do is to study and you're going to pass it, okay? Um, for eligible programs, it's eligible for bachelor's programs offered at a university. Simple as ABCD. The deadline, listen, guys, the deadline for this is two deadlines. January 1st, that one is gone. But we have November 15th, 2023. November 15th, 2023. And I will task you guys, those of you who want to change your surrounding, and I'll keep repeating, if you will change, everything around you will change. If you want to live longer, it means you have to live a healthy lifestyle. It means you have to have money. It means you have to go to school. It means you have to have job. If you want to have a, a happy family, you want to do all these things. That is called change. If you will change, everything around you will change. And I will keep repeating this, you know, so it sticks into your head. America is the greatest nation on earth. Everything you want to be. If you want to be the smartest criminal, you will be in America. If you want to be the smartest doctor, you will be in America. If you want to be the president of the United States, you will be. Well, you have to be born here. But besides that, that's it. Anything you can dream of, you will be it in the United States. That is why somebody like me, whose parents didn't really go to school, I am here and I have been able to accomplish all oh, I am living my dream. Okay? I have great friends. I have excellent family. And that is all that you need in this life. Okay? So if you are out here and you want to pursue bachelor's, Clark University is for you. The requirement, fairly simple. Fairly simple. You've got to be able to speak English. It's open to everybody around the world. Um, what does it say? There is some um, eligibility for scholarship uh, depending on academic achievement, those indicated on your application for admission. It's pretty generic. By generic, I mean it's just the standard. Like they say, oh, it must, it's just easy. Go out there, put some energy into you it's it's easy for you to do some of you didn't even have money for your tuition and they started reaching out to strangers on the internet and they found me and i was able to get somebody to help you if you put in the work faith faith if you believe that you're not going to stay in ghana and pursue your life or education you're not going to stay there you if you doubt it you will stay there but if you believe that oh uh, by the end of the year i'm out of here you may fail the first time. You may fail the second time, third, four, five, six, whatever. Don't be defeated. 
you will succeed. I know friends that I have helped them be here via scholarship or educational programs. They got bounced a bunch of time. They never gave up. They are here today. That could be you. Maybe you will give it a first try and they will give it to you. Somebody like me, first try, I got it. I'd never even been to anywhere, but I got it, right? So there are opportunities for everybody out here, okay? One of the direct scholarships that I would like to touch on would be the Boston University Presidential Scholarship. It's one of, it's also for undergrads only. See, these are all out there. You know, information, they say that in Ghana on Twitter as a funny way. Information, information is very, very, very vital, okay? Boston University Presidential Scholarship, that's also fully funded. Uh, if you get that, you are in a solid place, solid place. The requirement is fairly similar to the ones that we've talked about. So I wouldn't even waste time to talk about that. One of the university, which I believe some of you are already pursuing, where they give undergrad uh, fully funded uh, scholarship, I think that's also for undergrads only, would be the Bria College. Um, they have done extremely well picking people from um, nowhere to somewhere. You know, um, so long as you gain the scholarship, you get the scholarship and you come to United States and you adhere to basic principles of life. Basic principles of life. What are some of the basic, basic principles of life? Do not steal anybody's damn thing. Don't be a criminal. Don't let the police come after you. You are solid. It's one of the principles. I will talk about these things in subsequent seminars. Those of you who are spy, and it doesn't matter if you're in the United States or Ghana or Togo or Mali or, or, or France, do not go out there and be doing some criminal nonsense. You don't want that in your life. Uh, some of us have had our fair share, and we are telling you all these based on experience. You don't want that, my friends. I'll tell you that, okay? One other um, university that I will talk on, I've mentioned Bria College. Uh, one that I would touch on and then move on would be, um, let's see, I believe that would be the Jefferson Scholarship. Um, it's a foundation. So, again, with all these foundations, ah, this one is actually for PhD fellows. So, if... If, if you have already, okay, if you have already completed your bachelor's, uh, your master's, and you feel like, oh my God, I'm stuck in this place, nothing is working for me, there is hope for you, this one is for PhD fellas, go out there and apply for this. The beauty of PhD in this country is, you know, when you receive this fellowship, they give you a stipend, when we say stipend, it's kind of like a living allowance or whatever it is. But 25,000 U.S. dollars, man, if I have that kind of money, ooh, you get in this for free. An office, listen, the things you're going to get. An office, stack access, interlibrary loan privilege, internet access, the opportunity to present a paper at Higley Seminar Series, and a use of Higley's discounted discount accommodation. My friends, listen, <laughs> if you want to change, everything around you will change. The information is all out there. I have all these in a PowerPoint presentation. And I believe, I, I don't know the number of people we have on this seminar today, uh, but it looks like we, 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 we're touching a lot. But anybody that needs it, uh, just, you know, I will share it with you guys, man. Like, these are things that I, I believe when I wanted to leave my country and come here, I was so aggressive that when I go to the internet cafe, then today you could use your phone to browse and have access to everything that you want. I had to go to internet cafe, sit out there for the connection to die. There was this internet cafe in Koforidua, so I had to take a taxi from Koforidua, sorry, from Oyoko to Koforidua each and every day, well, if I have the money, well. But then I will go to DD Cafe, sit there, connection dies, we sit there for a couple of hours, sit there, connection dies, and I, I was still able to even access the internet to do the things that I wanted to do. It's all about perspective, your philosophy. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Okay? Do not change your philosophy. If your philosophy is success, you will be successful because you'll be thinking of ways to be successful. If your philosophy is about defeat, don't even waste your time thinking because you are already defeated. But even those of you who believe that they are stuck, I believe that if you believe in something, faith, 
and you believe in what I'm telling you, we can get you out of wherever situation that you're stuck into a promised land. I know some of you talk about the stuff like, you know, my boyfriend, my, you don't even need no, those noise around you at this point in your life. You got better fish to catch. Why are you wasting time on some, you know, wasted tilapia or whatever? You got, you know, sharks and all these bigger fishes to catch and you're out there worrying about some guy who doesn't even have a place to live, doesn't even have an employment, don't have anything. He's just wasting your damn life and you think that is cool and you are wasted and talking about you know, I'm going back to my ex and all that kind of funky stuff. For what? This guy doesn't even have anything. But anyways, that's also another topic for another discussion. All right. Um, one other thing. That, <laughs> sorry, guys. <God. laughs> Bernard, you, you know I'm talking about you. You and that I love you thing that you posted. <laughs> I was at the gym when I saw this guy's comment. I was like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Anyways, that was just a joke, by the way. But let's move on. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Um, okay, so that will be the direct scholarship. I've touched on scholarship for women, scholarship for undergrad, scholarship for graduates, scholarship for PhDs, scholarship for everybody. Guys, please take advantage of it. My only success would be that you are successful, and I would not rest until you achieve these dreams, okay? Um, God has been grateful to me. I, I, I. I am here today when I, when I come home to Ghana and I go to my hometown and I see people who are smarter than me and the lives that they're living and where I am today, I can only be grateful to God. So all jokes aside, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tasking you to change your surroundings. If you don't like people, people who don't encourage you, motivate you or push you to do anything, you won't go anywhere. Um, I move from, um, the Midwest, Las Vegas, about a year or so ago. And uh, um, the reason why I did that was one of, one of my prodigies, somebody that I thought, you know, I was mentoring, became my friend and became a partner, Jojo. He shaped me. I learned a lot from him. So it could be one of you guys. I learned so much from him. Somebody that I thought, oh, he's one of my, you know, uh, people that, you know, I, I would motivate, encourage. He was, he was on fire. I learned a lot from him that I applied to my life that I'm here today. It could be one of you guys. And I would love to see that, that you would grow to become one of our trusted friends. We have a circle of friends and we will welcome you with open arms. We support each other uh, through tough times, through good times, through funny times you would see us go running in the dcs we go running all over the states different uh places in the united states they will come visit me in las vegas we will have so much fun hiking going to eat at places we want that to be you we 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 believe that if you believe in your dreams and you believe in the principles that we are guiding you with you should be able to get there all right um let's see the other scholarship that I want to talk about is, this is, uh, are you guys listening? Uh, uh, okay, it looks like everyone is on board here. Uh, but this one is actually the easiest way out. Let's say, let's say you, your dad or your mom can afford to pay tuition in, in, in dollars, okay, here in the in, in United States. These are the fellows that you want to go for. And I know this because I have used them. I have people that have used them and it works. So these people, um, they are called the agencies. With these guys, you don't necessarily need excellent grades or whatever. Whatever be the case, you're going to get some percentage of scholarship. So say if you, get, if you get full scholarship, well, then God bless you. It works for you. But say if you get 50%, if the tuition is, say, 10000 and you get 50%, it means you have to pay for the $5,000 that is left. If your parents or if you can afford it, these are the guys that you should go for. Because they also work for a living, there is a, a processing fee which could range from um, $250 to $750, okay? These guys also, um, and somebody like, uh, Bernard would love this, but these guys also look for people with 
sports background. So if you're a great soccer player, uh, football player, I think that's what we call it back home. If you're a great football player, if you're a great athlete, they look for all these guys to even up your scholarship for you. So maybe because you're a great soccer player, you could bounce your scholarship from maybe 50 to 75% because the colleges are looking for somebody like you to come out there and play soccer and uh, live life. Okay? So one of them, trusted ones, there are some criminals out there, but this one is solid because, as I said, I've used it. I can attest to it. I have friends who've used it, and they are here. Some of them have used these people, and they have grown to become C-level executives in this country. By that, I mean either CEO or C-something. So think about it. Knowledge is not about you being a 4.0 student. It doesn't work like that. Some people are smart in their own way. They may be getting the C's and the D's and maybe the E's and the F and try again and better it. But once you put them on the workforce, they do better. They perform much better than the so-called 4.0 students who most of them are mostly lame. They don't even have a life. They don't even enjoy life. They just... All they do is read, 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 read. We don't really like that. You got to keep it balanced, right, guys? You want to be out there and having fun, enjoying friends and family, but don't overdo it because once you do that, that is when you, you, you start to lose your focus and you'll be driven to the gutters. And by the time you recognize, your life is extremely over. You don't want that. So we don't, these people don't really go out there looking for the 4.0 students. I mean, come on. Uh, how many do we have? Uh, my master's program, I tried so hard to get a 4.0. One professor from Germany, for whatever reason, did not like me. She gave me a B in the end, so I didn't get a 4.0, but I was close. I ended up with a 3.8 or 9 something, because one B pretty much uh, ruined it for me. So uh, that was actually one of my, my dreams, to hit a 4.0 of my master's program. Well, it didn't work, but... It didn't discourage me. Here I am today. It, it didn't change me. It didn't make me any shorter than I am. It didn't increase my bank balance. Zero. It did not cause me to get sick. Nothing. Uh, you just have to pick yourself up and move on. Adversities happen in life. Okay? So these guys are called IDEA. Think about it. IDEA. And it stands for International Doorway to Education and Athletics idea these are paid agencies so if you are going to use these guys make sure you have some good money sitting somewhere otherwise forget about it okay you if you're going to use these guys you have to, your parents should be able to afford it you should have reliable bank statement and then you can go after these guys again i have all these information uh, prepared in the slide so i would i would love to share with you i spent so I put a lot of energy into this, and um, my, my friends are uh, also supporting us financially, and I'll continue to recognize them because they've, they've done um, a, a lot, a lot for most of you on here. You all know it. You've, you, you've seen that these guys, I will tell them something, and somebody says, well, I'm going to chip in $100. Keep in mind, these guys are not millionaires. They're just average guys living their lives. They have families, too, in Ghana. But why are they interested in helping a stranger? They are because they know that you are hungry just like them. They were once in your shoes. They want you to be successful because once you change, keep in mind, everything around you will change. If we touch one soul and that soul ends up being extremely successful, we have done our part. We cannot change the world, but we can change our world and our world include those of you who have embraced the concept of GIU, and we hope that you continue as such, okay? So that is pretty much all I have for scholarship types. Um, we've talked about the institutions, um, we talked about Fulbright, we talked about the direct means, and we have talked about the agencies. I think the agencies is actually the best means if you have the cash to bypass, if you think you're worried about your grades and whatever you, but if you have, even okay grades go for the direct means. Sometimes you have to pay an application fee of about $50 or $100. But wherever there is a will, there is always a way. So don't let, you know, some of you, when, when they're trying to do something, 
they, they're trying to start a business. Then they start by saying, I don't have the money. How am I going to start a business? Well, you don't just need money to start a business. You need a plan. Have you written a plan? No. So why don't you start with a damn plan, write the plan, and then worry about the money when you have all the other tools around you? Have you thought through the process of what you want to do? If you want to travel, well, what happens if you don't get to leave the country? Well, what are the preparations that you're making that if your plan does not work? You should always have a backup plan. And I say this, and with most of the things that I tweet about, it's coded in there. Have a backup plan. Because plans don't always work to plan A. You know, some, some, some of my friends or some of my family members had to go to uh, start off with force work. They don't even want to be in the army or Ghana army or whatever it is, or the Ghana police service. They don't want to be there, but they had to start from there to work their way to being where they are today. So if you are stuck in a place because you need a cash flow, use that cash flow to change your life. And also some of you, I, I know you've been doing this because you told me, do not quit a job. If you have a job right now, don't be sitting at, you know, wherever the hell you're sitting and say that the job is stressful, I can't do this, blah, blah, blah. And then you quit the job and sit at home and then you don't have any cash flow. The job does a lot of different things for you besides the money that you get paid for. It keeps you busy. It keeps you from getting out of trouble. It keeps you from being depressed, hanging out with the wrong crowd because you have to be stuck somewhere for eight hours, okay? So don't do that. If you have another job lined up and you quit in that so-called bad one, then I agree with you. But if you don't have a job, don't quit what you got, okay? Um, there is a saying in Chi, uh, uh, and I'm trying to remember, there's a saying in Chi that, uh, what do we even say? Um, there's no way you can, if you are hungry, there's no way you could actually take the time and make sure that whatever you're cooking is cooking. When we are hungry and we start cooking, we start to pick it from the, the, the pot. You see that you take a little bit of the meat and then even when the rice is now cooked, you try to scrape a little bit of it and there you go. Because you're hungry, man. But once you're full, you can wait for your rice to be done. You can wait for your chicken to be well cooked or well fried. Okay, guys, so don't be quitting no damn job if you don't have one lined up. Whether it's, you know, my grandma will always tell me that if it's going to be done, it must be done well. When I was in college, when I was working on campus, you want to know what I was doing, working to pay for some of my tuition? I was cleaning the bathrooms, the ladies' bathrooms. I would clean and wipe the, the walls. And you know what? When I was doing that, some of my classmates would walk in, the girls, they will walk in and use the other bathrooms whilst I was cleaning. <laughs> These were even white people. Well, fast forward. Where I am today, and I, this is not bragging. They are not even close. Listen, and Jesus said this to Peter. He said, where I'm going, you guys can't come with. Stay behind. Sometimes you have to leave some people behind. They are bad energy. You don't need them. It could be your boyfriend. It could be your husband. Sadly, it could be your mom or dad. Mostly, it's our friends. Those garbage energy that they bring, you don't need because we have most of the garbages already. So you don't want to bring somebody to come and, you know, add to your troubles. Wipe them off. I had to do that. Some of my friends are no longer my friends. Doesn't mean I hate them. If I meet them, I would say, hey, 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 how you doing, man? Oh, I got to go. And I move on. But I would never waste my time on my phone, test them and ask them how they're doing. Listen, I talk to most of you almost every day. I get a lot of messages. I have a family. I have friends, a lot of good friends. So you ask yourself, how do I apportion my time and be able to do all this? I have to prepare to come and talk to you guys, okay? So make sure you are using your time wisely. You have to find a benefit in there. If there is zero benefit to whatever you're doing, don't waste your time. It is called garbage time. The computer says it best garbage in, garbage out. You bring garbage people around you, your life will be garbage. That is not a rocket science. That's just the basic, basics of fact. If, if you hang out with somebody who drinks all the time, even if you don't drink, a time will come you'll be pursued to drink. I'm not saying drinking is bad. I drink. I enjoy Guinness. I enjoy, uh, what else do I enjoy? Oh, whiskey. Yes, I do. But all I'm saying is don't make it a living habit. And if you don't have a bad habit, do not start it. If you don't know how to smoke, don't start smoking. What's the point? If you don't know how to drink, don't drink. 
What's the point? If you don't know how to whatever, any bad habit, don't start it. It's not worth it. Okay? And also continue to go to the gym almost every day. Okay? Because I do. And I task all of you to do that as well. All right? At this point, I'm going to, since I have uh, Prince and Nana on there, I'm going to have, I'm going to give them a little bit of time to at least um, show, give some words of wisdom. And uh, I hope that Nana and uh, Prince don't talk for more than two minutes because we want to take questions as well. So, um, Kofi, request the mic at your end and I can let you in. Prince, request the mic at your end and I can let you in. And this way you could share some words of wisdom with our brothers and sisters on here today. Let me see. Kofi, a war. Request the mic. Uh, Prince, okay. Let's see. I think Prince requested the mic. Where is it? Oh, boy. Here we go. Prince? Hello, Prince? You are muted or mute yourself, okay? Uh huh. Prince? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where are you driving to? I'm actually driving to uh, this well, it, it's, yeah, it's making life a living hell for <laughs> us right now. We can't even hear you. Can you guys hear me better now? Yeah, park somewhere, pull over and talk to us for maybe two minutes and then start your journey. Is it raining at DC? Yeah, it is. Uh, just I can hear it. Uh, uh, All right, then I'm going to let Kofi take the mic. Kofi? Yeah, what's going on? All right, let's Oh yeah, not much, man. Let's 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 rock. Let's let's rock here. Yeah. You have only two minutes. If you're gonna do long, you know what's gonna happen. No, gonna no problem, you. man. Um, all right, all right. Let's go. What I have to say is, um, you know, basically, Kizzy said it all. You know, y'all gotta y'all gotta stay focused, and y'all gotta y'all gotta have a plan. Like last time we were talking about son, like uh, one of y'all wanted to start um, a business, but you're like, but I don't know what to do. I don't know exactly what to do, you know? So it's like, if you ever want to start a business, you should know what you want to do first. And then you should have a plan on how to execute. I'm always a numbers, uh, I'm not much of a numbers guy. I'm more of a health person. But anytime somebody says, I want to start something, I always say these words, show me the numbers. Because there's no way you're going to start a business and then you're just going to make it last, 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 last. Then you better not have started anything. Although the experience would be great for you to learn from, but you should always have the numbers and, you know, show to somebody, say, hey, okay, if, if you need somebody to help you launch a business, you better have those numbers ready. So they actually like see it. If you want to go to school, you choose your school and say, yo, I want to, I want to start school. I'm interested in this school. I looked it up. I see th this is how they're going to help me. So do you have any advice? Um, can you walk me through a process? Because you are here. You can talk to Kizzy, you can talk to me, you can talk to Prince, and we'll help you out. Even if I'm busy or something, I could throw you out to somebody else who actually got the time to help you out, and they'll help you out, okay? Network with people. Get to know people. But don't get to just know anybody for no reason. Get to know people who put you in certain positions that you want to be in. Y'all understand? So that's all I got to say for y'all. Thank y'all for letting me be a part of this. Looking up. All right. Today. All right, Kofi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Prince, I think we, we can at least hear you okay. a little okay. better now. Yeah, I'll, I'll, if you're playing music, could you mute the damn thing? No. I'm getting some feedback here. All right. Well, then let's roll. Okay. So I apologize for the feedback. Uh, but I, mean, I didn't want to miss this. Uh, platform today, so I had to by all means try and find a way to at least stand and listen to it. So, first of all, I apologize for any background noise. I'm in a very crowded area, so again, I want to reiterate what, what my brother said and, and, and Nana and Cassie. So, greatness in you is a platform, it's a movement, it's a structured organization, it's more of we understanding priorities with people. We understanding the fact that we have lived that life. We all 
Nana, Kessie, and I were in the same classroom back in Ghana Secondary School. We are all business students. So we are not just people out here who think we have enough to just throw it out there. We trying to understand the culture in the opportunities that Kessie outlined all this part was talking. America is probably with no doubt the greatest country on earth because of the opportunities that foreigners again foreigners are able to capture and tap when they come here and stay focused so we are living proof we've all been in education system where we have reached the max the only thing we don't want to pursue is just pretty much the uh the uh what do you call it the phd which for me i think where i'm at i don't need that but then certification to better yourself self-development is what we focus on right now. And they, again, we all have families, but we're trying to understand the fact that any obedient way in the if I will say that in my daily, if I'm correct. We are That's trying right. to understand the fact that there are people who have the yearn to push forward, but it will need a little push. That couple of change, the dollars, whatever we put together to support you guys. It's not something that we just want to spend just like that. We just want to understand that, okay, it will make a difference. We've been in Ghana a couple of times. It is tough. Education system, employment. My brother is in Ghana with a bachelor's degree who has no job, right? And yet we overlook all those things to push people who are more focused in life. So family is not just immediate family. It's, it's everybody you treat who share the same okay. ideas with you. We've been, we've had opportunity, we've been blessed to be in positions. I've worked for, Kizzy and I started at the bank and we all, he stayed in the bank for like, I think 10 years or whatever. And then he now moved to That's a great. higher VP role. I switched to IT with a cybersecurity domain. Now I've gone to school with my master's program and now I'm a project manager for information system security officer. And I have worked for Department of State, Department of Defense, FAA, currently doing some contract with NIH. That is not to brag. It's just to tell you guys that we understand what we are doing. It's just, it's just a platform. We're trying to grow it so that you guys will understand what we're trying to accomplish in the future. So we are going to be here with all the helping hands, all the support, all the motivational um, uh, input that you guys make with the help of Casey who are taking the time to really manage this platform. I really appreciate everything you're doing. God bless you, Casey. And we are just on the background helping out, having conversations on the back end to understand how we're really going to structure this moving forward to make it a greater uh, platform for, to uh, accommodate a lot of people, not just smaller groups. So that is the vision. So we are, so many things are happening in the works. So we just want to show you guys that take this serious. It's not just listening to us, but listen to anything that is going to improve your life in, in the future. And then be a family. Share this information with others. And trust me, even one person can change every perspective in your life. We're just trying to change the trajectory in, 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 in the manner where you don't have to just sit at one place and feel like, hey, you have to have options in life. Trust me, we struggle to get to where we are. We have to, Casey and I used, used to work in John Deere. Anytime we speak, we talk about this and we laugh. We used to work in John Deere. <laughs> he will come home. He, when I'm taking off work, he will be coming in. In North Dakota, trust me, I spent seven years in North Dakota, just like Casey. And now he's in Las Vegas, I'm in Washington, D.C. Life has just been amazing because of the focus and the structured life we have. And with the help of God, everything has moved very smoothly. So please, guys, I want to just take this opportunity and thank my brother, Casey. God bless you with the vision you have and creating this platform that is helping people already. So we're going to help you and support all this effort in any way it's possible. So um, that's, that's what I want to say for now. We have several, several discussions coming forward in the future, which will address most of the um, um, people's uh, you know recommendations so i'll just leave you here for now because i i still have stuff to do so god bless everyone for joining share this among your friends and then let's keep the family going thank you thank you prince i, I appreciate the love and that is true i 
I even forgotten about that place, but we used to work at John Deere. It's one of the most disastrous jobs that I have ever done. You have to stand on, <laughs> on your feet for 12 hours. And if you want to hear it, during my lunch break, instead of me to go eat something, I will go and drink a bunch of beer because I was so depressed working at that place. <laughs> yep, that is true, friends. You got memories. Well, thanks for sharing that. Uh, but see, today we laugh about it, but that was a life that we were living. I have to go to work, stand on my feet for 12 hours from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. Whilst you were sleeping, I was working, working in a factory. Okay, so we've done a lot. I think I have um, my friend, um, prison officer, you can unmute yourself and ask your question, okay? I think you have to go back to work right now, the prison officer. I have accepted. Yep, go ahead. Okay, good evening, good evening, good evening. Here is evening in Ghana. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to ask this question. My question is that uh, you were mentioning some particular skills that is for undergraduates. And then uh, with me, I try to apply in other schools. So I had all the requirements that you have. You were mentioning those, the English proficiency letter, the transcript and all those things. I have those ones. Is there any particular school now that you can apply for me? And aside that, what are the other requirements you will need for me to, for you to be able to help me get it? Any financial aspect and everything. I want you to let me know everything concerning this. You need to get approximately this amount of money down. We are doing this. We start from here. We end here. I want to know the whole thing so that when we start, we don't stop anywhere. That's thank right. You. You're welcome. Well, thank you very much. That's a very, um, it's like a, a, a thousand in one question packed up for me, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much, brother. Um, the question is not about me. So it's not about me doing anything for you. It's about you doing everything for you. I am here to support you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to shepherd you. If it was left with me, I will be out there somewhere. Um, I don't know if you guys know about Las Vegas, but it's called the Sin City. That's where all the parties in the world happen. My friends are out there. My co-workers are out there having fun. And I'm here and join my friends, which is you guys, okay? So there's a lot of schools out there, a lot of schools that will give 100% scholarship, okay? Bria, we talked about. Boston, we talked about, okay? Um, when you start to apply, anybody that starts to apply, just let me know which school you are working with. I will be in constant one-on-one -on -one communication with you. I will meet with you. I will ask you what you have. I will ask you what you've done, okay? If you get 100% scholarship, we are golden. You don't need to do anything. If you need, say, $70 to pay for an application fee and you cannot afford it, I will take it to my friends. If they can help, we will help you, depending on how you've been contributing to the community, how you've been growing GIU. We will, of course, help you. We don't have thousands of dollars to pay 20000 for somebody or 50000 but we have information and we are very knowledgeable. Like I said, I'm a chartered accountant. It's one of the most difficult exams to take in the United States. I have it. I don't even use that for any job. I just have it, okay? We can help you structure your uh, resume, your letter, in a much better way that anybody who picks your application would say, huh, we have to give this guy a scholarship. So that is why we are here. We don't have 50,000, not at the moment, but the vision of this organization um, is to be able to get to a, a position where people have contributed and helped us so much so that we can recognize somebody and pay for them in college here in the United States. Change their life. We don't, I, I don't know any of you guys here, okay? Um, I talked to Henry. We had a video conference and a great kid, you know, and he told me a lot about himself and I enjoyed talking to him. He is a very smart young man who wants to succeed. And succeed he will because he has faith and he's been working hard to get to where he wants to be, okay? So, prison officer, <laughs> um, I'm here to support you. I will give you all the colleges that I think you should pursue. The reading, 
um, the research, I have done that for you, but the reading is up to you, okay? Um, I, I, I want to give you the information that you need, and I want you to go out there. You have to put your skin in the game. If, um, if everything is done for you, you don't even recognize um, to put in any effort. My goal is to show you the way and tell you, take a left, take a right, okay? Keep going straight. Because there is a saying in Chi that asano unimse nechi achia. I want to make sure that you are on the right track, and that is where I want to uh, take you, okay? I want to guide you because you are making a path, creating a way. You probably don't know where you're going. My goal is to show you where to go, tell you, and listen, you must, because I know it all. Like I said, you can ask my friends, what I have been through in this country, you'll be amazed that I'm sitting here today um, talking to you, all right? All right, let me see who all is here. Uh, I'm going to take a question from Jackson. Okay, Jackson. All right, Jackson, you're on. It looks like he's connecting, but uh, uh, probably because of... Uh, hi, Jackson. Um, hello. Yeah, I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. It's just that I'm a little bit busy. But I think uh, for now, as you have said... I will find ways and means because I've reported to work and then I'm about to start to work. So probably I will not be using the phone. So what I'm going to do is that I will chat to you behind doors so that I will check the schools that is available, the one okay. you can guide me to apply. Okay. Then I'll start from there. All if right. there is anything I need to get, you tell me, I put in my efforts and then get them for you. You just guide me, then I go through the process. I will. I will. I will. I'm so, that, I, I'm I will. very happy, although I'm a little bit tight, but I needed to be late to work because I need to hear the whole thing because people yeah. have been telling they are going to school in the United States. I even have a classmate who will be going next week. Hmm? He said he will be going to school. He showed me everything. I saw that it was genuine, but he was mm -hmm. saying I need to pay $2,000. Yep, that would be it. Yep, yep, that would be the idea. Yep. Yes, so he told me everything, but he's not all that open and he's not all that specific. I so, just want someone to do I, I, I will tell you this. We are not a secret society. Nothing is hidden. I will tell you all that you need to know. Yes, some of you have to pay to get those scholarships. If you can afford it, like I said, that would be the best approach for you. But speaking of time, let me tell you something, prison officer. None of us have time. But if you want to achieve something, you have to have time, okay? Um, so don't worry about time. Time is your friend, also your enemy. So distribute your time in a manner and ways that it can help you get to your goals. Think about the things that you do in a day. When I wake up, what do I do? For me, I have a routine. When I wake up first thing in the morning, I get up and, you know, I will read my Bible. And I'm not telling you to read my Bible. Some of you might be Muslims. I've read a little bit about the Quran. You know, I've, I'm also a traditionalist because I believe in the principles of Okonfuanochi and all those kind of stuff. So I, I'm a believer in almost everything, okay? But that's what I do. Get up, read my Bible, um, you know, get ready, go to the gym, come back home, take a shower, hang out with my family, get ready, get ready by that, read what I got to do at work. Sometimes I have to sit here till like maybe one or two preparing for work. From there, I will go to work and lead a team of data scientists and analysts, you know, where I tell them what to do. Your brain has to be working if you are dealing in programming, okay? And I do that and I come home, come home, hang out with my family, do homework with my family, and then sit here, find something to eat, jump on my computer, well, put my kids to bed, jump on my computer, and then get ready. Then talk to people. In between, I'm talking to you guys, and I get a lot of messages, a lot, you know, and I'm talking to you guys, talking to my friends, talking to my mom, talking to my dad. Um, you think I have more than 24 hours in a day? No, I have the same hours that you do. So for time, if something means a lot to you, you have to have a way to get it done. We are a little bit over our time, but I'm going to take two questions, okay? I've taken a lot of questions from the guys, so I'm going to allow Ravna to speak and ask a question. Hello, Ravna. I think she's connecting. What? Ravna? 
Hello, Rabna. You are on mute, uh, so we can't hear you. So you would have to mute yourself first, and then um, we can hear you. Um, while she's waiting, um, I'm going to say one thing, okay? Um, one thing I noticed, I mean, with us Ghanaians, it's always, um, could you show me how to do this or um, do it for me? Um, stuff like that, right? Um, I think um, y'all should also take the initiative of, you know, learning to do stuff for yourselves. Now, um, if you want to, if you want the scholarship, like Kizzy, as Kizzy said, he's going to put on the scholarships, right? The schools and everything. So if you're interested, you go to the school website. They're going to give you a whole list of requirements to do. You put it down. You write all these things down. And when you get that requirement, you cross it out. When you get the second one, you cross it out. If you get to a point and you don't understand, you just let us know. And then we'll direct you like, oh, it's this, it's that, it's that. Right. But if you say, let's do it for you. That's okay, not going to happen. You put in the responsibility on us to do it for you. And right. that is not going to happen. You have to be proactive. The last thing I'm going to say is everything takes time. As Kizzy said, he did not have it easy here. Okay. When he came, I was already here. We talked almost every single day. And he went through hell to get to where he's at. So everything takes time. Even if you start, all you got to do is just have a plan and a goal. That's right. Forget about the time. Make sure you're just working towards it. You will get there. But then if you look at other people and you try to emulate your lifestyle, then you that is going to be a kind of like a downfall kind of type situation. So you got to be really careful. Be focused. Thank you. All right, Kofi. Thank you. I, I appreciate your input. Um, you know, Kofi is, uh, you know, when we went to secondary school, I was from not a very good home. So I ate a lot of his um, rich people's food. So I him and I, we go way back. Um, I didn't want to go to the dining hall because of the girls. You know, I don't, those of you who went to miss school, you probably can relate. You don't want to go to uh, dining uh, because the girls who look at you in funny way. So we were always hiding behind the uh, dining hall and he always got some food. So I'm always, uh, you know, squatting around uh, his, uh, what we call the chopper's box, or whatever the hell it's called. But anyways, all right. Well, I think uh, I have a couple of guys. Guys, you know, we are all about time, but you guys are unbelievable. I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to take three questions. I'm going to have um, uh, Henry, Bernard, and Mustafa. And then I think I said three, but I think there is Dunani um, also out there that I want to take questions from. And then we could conclude here today. All right, guys. Um, so, Henry, I'm going to let you on. Hi, Henry. I think uh, he's trying to uh, connect. Um, <laughs> no, I wasn't shy. I design. Actually, let me recognize I design. So I design. I know his name. Maybe he doesn't want to go by it. But hi, Henry. One second here, but you are on now. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish up here real quick. But I Design is the guy that actually designed our Lego uh, GIU. Um, he's been very instrumental um, in our community. He's saying that I was shy. That's why I didn't want to go to the, the uh, dining hall. No, I wasn't. I mean, just that the, the girls would look down on you. I mean, uh, well, whatever. But anyways, he designed the GIU. Uh, excuse me. He asked me a few questions. We went back and forth. He did an excellent job. I showed it to uh, some of my friends at work, and they gave me an input, and we gave it to him. Um, everybody loves it. I think he did a great job. If any of you need somebody to design something for you, and we are not selling anything to nobody. We're just saying that if you want anything, design or shirt, um, cap, or which we are going to do all that with GIU, uh, I think uh, he would be the best guy. But everything, uh, the design, the idea, we helped out telling him what we want, but the execution was perfect. Even my uncle, who is a lecturer, was amazed at the effort and the work that he put through. So thank you very much, brother. All right, um, Henry. Uh, 
Hello, Henry. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Good evening to you all. Uh, thank you very much for coming here. I think of course some people to come here and I'm and I, they are here too. I'm very happy to be here. A wonderful family. And also I want to call Mr. Mr. Yabua and uh, what's the name? Mr. Kofi. Thank you very much for coming. And also my my contribution is our family is now becoming bigger and bigger. So I want to, I, want a, I have a suggestion. My suggestion is I want to, uh, if we create an awareness of our family, we should also go into DMs, organize, tell them, someone can come to my DM and ask what's about our family. So it's not only like you posting and reposting stuff, but someone can come to your DM, what's about our family, which you can educate them and, aha. Uh -huh. So I think, yeah, so I think that one to help. So I know my, my people, Bernard, Sandra, and Adria, they are doing really well. So I think we are doing the job and I'm happy to be part of this family. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Harry. Yes, Harry, you've, you've done a, a tremendous job. You, uh, Sandy, um, Bernard, you guys are unbelievable. And I've never met you guys, but I love you guys to death. And that's coming from a place of love from the bottom of my heart. Nyako recently joined us, uh, Rabna. Um, I think non non like I, I don't know her real name, but she's also been very instrumental. I like that. Uh, Presla, all of you guys have been amazing. But uh, speaking of awareness, um, here's what I would tell you, Henry. In life, you have to fight for what you believe. We don't have to necessarily tell somebody to join our family. We are actually giving hope to people. If you want to live your dream, we can help you. We are not selling anything, okay? Uh, we are not looking for followers to come and follow us for us to tweet about um, Moshi or whatever her name is, Moishi or Moyashe or whatever the, those people's name are or those uh, comparing picture of this girl to that girl. I could give a damn about none of that crap. I don't. Yeah. None of my friends, right? None, none yeah. of my friends. Okay. Uh, so, but I would tell you this, Henry. We have a plan. We, I have a lot of things in motion. When we were designing the logo, none of you even was aware. Uh, we have a lot of, we, we, we're telling you to have a plan because we have a plan. Uh, we know where we want to take this. Even if we have one soul to um, take our message and we willing to help them, they can join. Um, they follow a bunch of noise on the social uh, media aspect without asking those people what are you into before following them? So we need not explain to anybody um, that join us because we can do it. No, we want you to believe that there is greatness in you. And if you join us, we will help you realize it. And that is the bottom line. Um, I don't need to be famous in Ghana. I'm very famous in my family. I'm very famous in my friends circle, which really matters to me. Um, and we, we love each other. Um, so. If you want to join our family, a lot of you has actually followed us whilst we were speaking. So that tells me that they are taking the messages in a really good heart. And for that, we appreciate that. And I keep saying, if you're not following uh, me and you like our words, please do that. Um, follow Nana. Um, I think he calls himself Death Damba or whatever. Um, we have Prince Yabua too on there. Follow him. We have GIU um, our page that we've created solely for GIU. Follow it. We have a lot of good messages and a lot of good things coming um, our way, okay? Uh, I'm going to let Bernard speak right now. Uh, where, where did he go? I think he got lost. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to let Mustafa speak. Uh, Mustafa, you have two minutes. Okay, let's go. Hi, Mustafa. Uh, I think he's trying to connect. But guys, listen, everything is by faith. Um, if, if, listen, I... I want to help people, but people should also be 
in a position of wanting to receive help and that they've done so much for themselves, okay? Um, the, the, the community is growing. We, are, we do a lot of giveaways, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, breakfast, uh, dinners, surprise. Some of you, uh, we've helped paid. I don't need to say it, but we've helped with a lot of tuition expense. Some of you that I DM and directly sent something your way without even you knowing, I would DM you until you remind me this day or remind me that way I will send you or remind me you've done a lot and we still uh, support you, okay? So I don't have to tell some, some kids sitting in Legon campus that uh, do not follow Shatawale because he has nothing good to tell you about follow me because I'm going to give you dinner money. No, it means I'm buying you. I want you to believe in our message and I want you to believe in uh, yourself, most importantly, for us to be able to help you. Um, let's see. Um, uh, I think Mustafa, do I have you? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Okay, all right, please go ahead. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hey, uh, how's everything, everyone? Ah, we're doing all right. Uh, uh, please <laughs> go on with yeah, the question. We, yeah, we thank God. Actually, not uh, really a question, because I, I would like to reserve that uh, to, to ourselves. Yeah, first of all, I want to, to thank you very much uh, for what you have been doing. Uh, it's, uh, it's very obvious you don't know me from anywhere. We met on, on social media, just like uh, Mr. Prince. The last time we were on the, on, the, on the space, he was there. I really appreciate uh, his presence, you know, and it's, it's, uh, it's giving some kind of a hope. Uh, okay, these, these, are, these are things, these are the way things should be done. And whatever information that has been, uh, has been going on ground, you try to let, uh, you try to let uh, those who, who wants to be part of the family be aware of it. It's a very, it's a very commendable idea. I also want to thank uh, Mr. Kofi for, pre for being present, and uh, and every other person, or every other member of the G the G the GIU family. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, there is uh, just like uh, the suggestion that uh, Henry is trying to like bring. It's a good idea. I want to when you notice like uh, the number of people following you, uh, Mr. Kesty. You see, about over six thousand people are following you. But when you talk about, we are talking about opportunities that now that will change uh, life for the better. There's one thing I noticed that uh, we Africans, like I'm primarily, like the last time I said, I'm from Nigeria, but currently in Ghana. They see, the way, we, like, the way we look at things is quite different from the way you are trying to put it. And that's why I, it is very, very, it is very, very sounding. It makes a lot of sense to me that, okay, the greatness in you, when you don't even understand the greatness in you, and maybe somebody somewhere is trying all his best to bring out that greatness in you, then it is your own responsibility for now for you to realize, okay, that greatness. Because some don't even have that faith. Maybe, okay, they can even do something, something great for themselves. But if you have somebody that will like, okay, assist you, support you to do that thing, then be thankful to God. And to God be the glory, we have we have a very good uh, platform. We are in the we are in the but uh, we are in a century whereby nothing is nothing is that difficult. The the information is very easy, is very easily to be passed out. So like, one thing I want to like okay do, from my own end as a part of the family, we may not have enough time to discuss here, just like you have you have time for other things to do, but. As we do things behind closed doors, we always uh, alert or let other people know, okay, this is what we are doing. And if you are really part of the family, we will know. And if you are really there, maybe just for you to end something. Because to be honest, some people might be part of this uh, family, maybe because of the, the, the 50 Ghana CDs they want to get, the $100 they want to get. But uh, to be honest with you, I think it is much more than that. And that is what uh, Mr. Casey has been, has been preaching all through since we, have, since we have known each other online. So I just leave that to myself. We're going to be discussing more on it. There was no enough time here to discuss a lot of things. But with God, with God uh, with, to God be the glory, by the grace of God, just like what you've said, even though it is one person's life that you were able to, to like change the better, you are fulfilled. Just like you say, 
your own success is for every other person to succeed. And may God Almighty bless you all. Thank you very much. I have thank to drop you, here. Thank you, thank you Mustafa. Uh, yes, Mustafa has been one of the uh, rock stars in the community. He strongly believes in our faith and our agenda. Um, and I, I appreciate him for that. Um, I think he also got a point. Henry also br brought up the same thing. I will consider that. Henry, I will talk to you um, um, either next week or somewhere. I will call you because I believe you're already um, speaking. And then you could share with me what idea you trying to, um, you think you could talk to Mustafa and gather one or two stuff. And then you could uh, share that with me as well, right? So I, I guess uh, you guys have a point. Maybe uh, we should cast the net, uh, even though, um, I guess people are curious and uh, tell those people we don't want anything from them. We just are uh, trying to help. All right, Bernard. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. I wanted to ask about uh, a school that gives the uh, Hello, good evening, everybody. Yeah, Bernard, we can hear you. All right. Um, I'm Don Ani from Nigeria. Hold Good up, evening. Up, wait, from a, here. wait a minute. Don Ani, um, Bernard is speaking now, so let him finish and then you can take the. Okay, take, okay. Uh, sorry, please. Right. Sorry, please. Sorry, please. Okay. Thank you. All right, Bernard, please go ahead. Yeah, I want to know uh, those the schools that, if possible, you can list them for me. Please raise your voice. We can't hear you. Oh, okay. I want to know if you could help me list um, the schools that give opportunity to uh, the sporting um, people who want to at least apply for that scholarship. And I want to know okay. if it's solely a sport or maybe you need uh, the sporting background and an educational background too, so that at least when I'm applying, I don't know what to do. And yeah, okay, that's that's actually a great question. A uh, second, what? Yeah, that's that's a great question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, better my man. Good to hear your voice. I know we 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 message back and forth, uh, and I I'm glad at least today I I'm able, I'm able to hear you today. So that's that's good. I, I got your question. Yes, um, America is a country which it concept, whether even, even if you want to play basketball, even if you want to um, play football, they require some educational expertise from you. Um, the reason behind that is that people who actually want to read or people who are put in a pressure zone deliver. So yes, you have to have an academic um, background um, so you have to have your SSC or senior high school. Now they call it WASI. Uh, you got to have that. And then on top of that, show the expertise, which is your athleticism, I believe. It. LeBron James and most, uh, maybe not LeBron James, but most of those uh, football and even basketball players, they have to go to college. And from college, you could make it out and then uh, be uh, successful. So, yes, uh, it's mostly contingent upon your academic performance as well. All right. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Go on. I'm listening. I'm going to DM you for the schools. Okay. Wait, that, that, that is mostly the um, paid ones, but yeah, we can talk about that behind the scene. Um, so we can, we can have that discussion. All right, Bernard? Sure, sure, sure. All right. All right. Donani. You can unmute yourself and please ask your question, okay? All right. Good evening from here in Nigeria. Good morning, wherever you are, depending on your time, and good afternoon. Well, I'm done. And as I said earlier, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm very, very anxious. That was why I had to even um, start talking, even when someone was still in the cars. Um, I'm not really used to this. I think this is the first time of speaking on a space like this. So I really want to say thank you so much for this 
privilege. May God continue to shine his blessings upon you for your service to humanity because we can't really pay. Thank you very much once again. So You're my welcome, question brother. is, um, my question is, uh, um, let me just start by saying this. I'm actually a Nigerian Navy personnel. I'm a naval officer. And uh, um, during my years in the university, um, because of this um, system, I was not really participating fully in school. So it made me graduate with a low grade. And the question here is, I don't really know if graduating with um, a third class can get me a scholarship or there is some other thing I'll need to do. Um, there's always this thing in Nigeria that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. I'm not That's right. shy to tell people that I graduated with a, a low grade or a third class. Not really because I'm dull, but because of work exigences. So I'm really glad um, coming across this space. I used to hear about it, but this is my first time here. So if I'll oh. get a reliable information, I think I'll be glad. Thank you. I'm not You're welcome. Out anymore. All right, Donani, I got your question. And Nigerians have one of the best sayings. I think Chinua Achibe said, the sun will shine on those who stands before uh, it shines on those who kneel under it. Um, I think yeah. Chinua, Chinua Achibe is one of the greatest uh, poets of our time. I read Things Fall Apart because we were required to, but I've read his history, his background and everything. You guys have one of the best um, proverbs or sayings. So I believe that, I strongly believe, I've never heard this one, but that's a good one. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If you don't speak about your problems, nobody's going to know because nobody sits in your head. So I'm glad you are able to speak up. Um, we, you will find out. You don't sit there and say, I have a lower uh, grade, so I'm not going to try. See, that's the thing. You got to try to find out. You'll be amazed. Maybe you'll be the only guy that applied for scholarship from Africa. They say, well, come on in. So don't limit yourself. It's, it's always like that. We have some type of constraint. I don't have money. My grades are low. I don't know how to sing. I don't know how to dance. Well, get on the dance floor. Let's see. Can you move your body? That is also called dancing. Who decided that the person who dance and cracks and jump to the sky is the best dancer? Okay. So go ahead. These, so long as this is a scholarship, go out and put your name in there. You, you will be amazed. If you have faith, if you have faith backed by your hard work and by faith, as I started earlier on, I don't need you to believe in the Jesus that I believe in or the God that I believe in. Even if you believe in a tree and you believe that whatever you want to do, you can succeed, you will succeed. Listen, Elon Musk believed that he was going to change the world with electric car. They thought he was a joke. I don't know any church that that guy goes to. But he's, he's lived his dream. He's the richest man on earth. Every car company now wants to do electric cars. All I'm telling you is yeah. faith. Faith moves mountains, okay? You don't have to yeah, believe in one aspect, okay? Yeah. So don't, don't limit yourself. Um, just go on and pursue it. And now that you've joined the family, um, turn your notifications on. We always have ways of encouragement. We have directives, and we will be more than happy uh, to, to help each and every one of you. All right? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. I think I'll be on your DM, and I'll follow every tweet from you. Thank you. And I'll just say to thank Nani. you also to every person that have contributed to, to the realization of this uh, space. God bless you all. All right. God bless you, my brother. I will, I will continue. Uh, I think we've, we've taken a lot of questions. Every day that I try to schedule for one hour, Jackson, Jackson, who has already asked his question, says he wants to ask 
one last question. That's going to be our last question. So, Jackson, unmute yourself. Uh, Donani, could you please mute yourself? Because we're getting some feedback right. here, please. Thank you. Um, hello, hello, good fun. evening. Now. <laughs> All right, Jackson. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, thank you very much for giving me this uh, great opportunity to also speak here. Um, I don't actually have a question, but I think I joined this space later on because I was having a challenge with my internet. Okay. But I think it's it, it's okay now. And I just want to thank you for whoever brought this um, um uh, platform. Uh, God bless you, all of you. And I think Mr. Kesti, I don't know if I got a name right. I would want to send a direct message uh, since I came here late and you are running out of time. So I think I'll join this space next time when you came up with it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jackson. Hey, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, 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 the, the concept of helping people has always been on almost all of our minds, my friends, myself. Um, but, you know, taking an initial step in doing everything is tough. Being on the internet, exposing yourself and talking, it's not a joke. So, um, but I'm sure we all have uh, the right um, heart and we want to help people. And that is our journey. We've started and we believe by the end of the year, you guys will see changes in your life. If you strongly believe, I keep telling you faith, faith. And by faith, again, I will emphasize, I'm not referring to church or a mosque or Jesus or Muhammad. My faith is in Jesus. I don't care where your faith is. So long as you believe in something, you will live your dream. You work hard like crazy. You got to have a plan, though, because even those of us who believe in Jesus, we don't go to bed and say, Jesus, could you please give us some fufu and peanut soup? And then you wake up and it's right in front of you. No, you got to go out there after you pray and be, you know, talking with your friends and asking them what they are cooking. And they say, we're making fufu and peanut. Then you can join them, right? So by, by having faith does not mean you don't put in action. Because it doesn't mean anything. It's meaningless. You also have to have an idea. You have to have a purpose. Why are you doing what you're doing? If you cannot answer that basic question, forget about being successful, okay? Uh, I'm going to take, you know, I mean, Africans as we are, you know, NBA uh, cash, cash out, one of our active brothers online. He, when I said I was done with the question, he says he's got a question. What's up, man? <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let hello. you ask your question. All right, hello. NBA, you on? Uh, hello, boss. Good evening. Good evening. Um, okay, so I think I have Nick right now, right? Is that your name, Mr. Nick? No, no, Nyako Reggie, Nyako, Nyako. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, Nyako. Okay, my man. Yeah. All right, go on, go on and ask your question, brother. Yeah, you. After which, I'll take a couple. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I just want to ask you first, this question. Can you please can you list the scholarship link so that we, those of us those of us who are serious can apply? Okay. Yeah, I have I mean I thank you. I mean I think you you're the one who asked the shortest question and I like that. Yes. I prepared a PowerPoint so after everything I would tweet. I'm trying to create a newsletter so I have to watch some videos to figure it out. But I'll create a newsletter and I'll have you guys, um, you know, subscribe and then I will attach it and you all should have the PowerPoints of every slide that I speak about, okay? Um, it, the, the links are in there. You click on it, it will take you there, take you to the school. The process can be tedious. But mm. those of you, like you said, and I believe everyone on this call is actually serious and wants to get something from it, okay? But if you want to gain scholarship, go ahead, shoot for the moon. You know, I, I believe that if you do what we are telling you, your lives will never be the same. I did what I had to do. I didn't have anybody to coach me, but here I am today and I'm speaking to you and I'm speaking from a place of love. And I believe if you listen to what we're telling you, you, by the end of December, 2023, you will see a great, great change in your life. All right. Amen. 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 Please, I'm waiting. So, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, NBA, NBA, Mr. Meek. I think I've allowed you guys to speak. So, if you have your question, go on and ask. Let's see. I think they're 
they're both trying to connect. So let's give them some time. I I will not go past two hours because I have to be somewhere at 1.30 my time. So uh, uh, I, I'm hoping that, you know, um, you know, at least uh, I think two hours would be good enough. But what that what this tells me is y- you people are eager to succeed. And for that succeed, you will. You've spent two hours of your time with us. I've spent two hours of my precious time with you. And we are sharing ideas, sharing information that is vital to our growth and success. OK. And with that, I promise you, if you back it by faith and hard work, you're going to get to where you are. I'm not telling you to not be on social media to enjoy the beautiful women pictures that you see and all that kind of stuff. Last time I saw people uh, bashing this girl. I never know her, never heard of her. I think her name is, she calls herself Bernice. Um, And, you know, she has transformed so much. And I looked at the comments because I read almost everything that's out there. And I'm like, no, wait a minute, guys. Give credit to her. People are saying God is good. God is good. Like I said. You have to change. If you change, everything around you will change. God has given us all the opportunity to be who we want to be. The girl changed all by herself. She succeeded. Give her credit. And so be it. So if you want to change, you would succeed. Um, I keep telling you, be yourself. But also watch what others are doing. It doesn't mean you have to copy what others are doing. Um, Because we are all different, okay? What might be good for you might not work for me. So uh, be, be very unique. Stand out in your own way. If you do that, people will recognize you, okay? People will see you. And everything that you do and touch will be a success, okay? Well, today, I, I don't even know why, but um, my faith and um, the God that I believe in, every day when I, I wake up, I ask for guidance. And for whatever reason, Whilst I was at the gym and I was working out, it occurred to me that how about I give something to most of the people who are really um, active out on our space. Most of you are, I know, but these people are active too. Some of you are even more active than them, but these are the people that occurred to me because they are on my mind. So I'm going to tweet these tweets and I believe all of you can see it by now. You can see it on my page, I think. I said I was going to give two people 100 Ghana cities to help them, you know, for being active on our communities. Well, these names came up. I think they are five. Now, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Should I give each and every one 50, 25, 10, whatever? I don't know. So, I, I, you know, one thing that struck me when I tweeted that I was going to do that, one person said, I believe with faith that it's going to be me. <laughs> Bernard, yes, it was you that I was thinking of when I said that. So your faith, and I'm not saying this because I want you to have faith, but when you said that and I read the comment, I was like, geez, like this is what I keep telling. He was the guy that has been on my mind when I was going to bed, that that's the guy that who's been very active. I think logical. I don't even know where logical came from, but the guy has been super active. Uh, He believes in the movement. He shares He's, I think he's on, um, he has our uh, notification on. He's 100% out there, always on time, always retweeted, always commenting. And I, I believe so, some of you got some of the weirdest names, so I don't even know what those names are. Uh, but I'll tell you what, you guys have been incredibly amazing. Uh, these are the names that we are considering to uh, give something to uh, for today. And I'm not doing this to get you to come to our space, no. I'm just recognizing this. Where, where is the tweet? Did it get lost? I don't know. Um, 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 Henry, do you see the tweet? Yeah, the tweet is there. Is there? <laughs> oh, better relax, oh. relax, better relax. <laughs> better relax. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I'm not seeing it at my end. That's why I asked that. So my apologies. So yeah, but these guys that I've I've tweeted, yeah, we, um, are, we are also waiting for the for the next week. Oh, okay. We I think to... I can even share it on this space. Um, let me let me bookmark it. Um, let's do it this. Um, I don't have a hundred dollars to give to all you five people. That is too much money. <laughs> but here's what I'm gonna put my friends on the spot. I think Nana is on. I'm going to tax Nana to take care of two. I'm going to tax Prince to take care of one. And I will take the other two. How about that? Does that work? 
Does that work, Nana? I, I can it's a great it. idea. Uh, Prince, does that work? I'll do three. Oh, my goodness. Prince says he's going to do three. Well, I'm not going to go over five. These people that I've selected, so Prince is going to do three. Nana, Kofi, can you hear me? You will take you the will rest. Take it the means rest. I it don't means have I to don't give have to anything. anything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This That's is amazing. This is, this is amazing. See, expand your network. Have friends that could impact your life. Prince is going to take three. Nana will take the two um, behind the scene. I will reward some of you because I didn't have to spend. I don't have any use for these hundred dollars. So I will hundred dollars. Sorry, dollars is too big. Come on, guys. Um, so I will talk to some of you. I will run the model. I have a code here that runs that picks these people. So it's not because I selectively sit here and say because Carly J. Henry has been super, super supportive, but his name didn't come up. <laughs> Such is life. You work so hard. You get your tan, my brother. Trust me. Ugly Joe is on, right? It was Ugly Joe on the list. I think so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ugly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Harry. Ugly Joe is. I don't know who he is. I don't know why he wants to be ugly. Uh, but. I hope he's not ugly like that. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> he is My very, <laughs> very, very, very supportive. And um, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. Those of you that I'm working with, I pray that everything that you aspire, you dream of, want to do, the good Lord guides you. Um, I'm here to support you. Prisla said her data is finished. Uh, no problem. We're almost done here engage in the community turn your notifications on subscribe to our youtube uh channel which you have it right there on the space i want each and every one of you my goal is that after this uh, discussion we will go out there and put it on youtube that way if you want to revisit some of the things that we said i'm going to create a newsletter um that i'm going to reach out to each and every one of you i hope that whatever your heart dreams of the good lord guides you i pray to the good lord that whatever you aspire to be the good lord guides you i pray that you continue to keep an open mind and open heart strengthen your faith in everything you do god has a way of working miracles and with mm -hmm. that i will say thank you very much for coming on god bless you mm -hmm. today oh prince prince says he's got something to add yeah, I was just going to say that this, uh, I think I'm going back to answer one of the questions that came up a little bit uh, earlier about mm -hmm. the school. So most of the schools here in the United States, we change students. Mm -hmm. other, than, other than back home in Ghana, where, you know, a lot of people are chasing one school. So with a little mm -hmm. effort, even though, the, I think the question was regarding he had a lowest grade, so something low, so he was thinking whether it would be able to obtain that uh, opportunity for a scholarship, but I, I bet you not. To schools, as far as you are coming in to add value, they will work some way to get you in, trust me. And it's happened so many times, so don't be scared to put your application out there. And then they have to be multiple, have options, and then trust me, you will get some positive feedback. With all right. We will be able to support one way or the other with all the practices. So don't worry about it. Just keep your effort in and let us know. All right, Prince. Hey, we appreciate the love. Thanks for that input. If you're not following us and you think we have a good message for you, kindly go ahead and follow us. Uh, share, uh, you know, uh, our tweets, our comments. Um, I, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. As I was saying, may the good Lord guide and protect and watch over us, provide you with good health, um, guide your ways, your thought, everything that you dream of. Don't sit down. Work hard, you know. I, and like I always say, if you look up to me as a mentor and you want to beat me, you, you got a problem because I work like crazy. I'm an animal. I don't even sleep, you know. So if you want to beat me, you got to do times two. 